Okay, boys and girls, we are now ready to begin sewing together our pillows. So I have my fabric and I selected a piece of felt that I want as the back of my pillow. So I'm gonna sew these two pieces together. So I wanna take whatever is the front of my pillow, wherever the brightest colors are, and I actually wanna have that facing down, touching the, uh, the back piece. And notice that my fabric is just a little bit smaller than the um, orange piece, and that's fine, um, that'll work. Um, and then you guys are each gonna get a needle that is in a piece of foam that matches the number that's next to your name on my roster up front. At the end of class, you are assigned this needle and at the end of class, you're required to turn in this needle. So you're responsible for keeping track of this, okay? Don't stab the foam a million times because then the needle won't stay in there, okay? So please take care of these. Um, and so you're gonna take the needle. The hole in the needle is called the eye and you need to get the string through here. Never, ever, ever do we wanna put the string in our mouth to try to get it through there. That's really gross, spreads a lot of germs. We don't need to do that. I'm gonna give you guys a little piece of paper. This, think of this like a hot dog bun. You're gonna stick the end of the string inside of the paper and it can't be hanging out of the end. It needs to be in there entirely. And then you're gonna take this piece of paper and you are going to push it through the eye of the needle and then voila, it is then threaded, okay? So you have a long end and you have a short end. The short end we call the tail. We don't want it to get sewn through your, your project. The long end we're gonna make a knot in, okay? I'm gonna show you in the video, but if you need help, I'll come around and help you. I'm just gonna fold the end over just a little bit. See how I just folded over the end just a teeny bit, okay? And then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna make a loop around my finger and I'm gonna bring the loop, the end through that little loop. So I have a knot now, okay? So I'll be around to help you guys with that. Once we're ready to sew, we are gonna do a stitch called the running stitch. For the running stitch, you're gonna take the needle up through the fabric, then down through the fabric, then up, then down, then up, then down. So I want you to pick a corner to start at and I'm gonna go up. I'll have to make sure I'm going through both pieces of fabric. We don't wanna be right at the end, but we wanna be in a little bit. This is where I told you guys you're gonna not see those edges if, that, if your edges didn't get painted. This is where um, you know, the edges will get hidden. So I'm gonna go up, so notice how far in I am, about that far. And I'm gonna pull my string the whole way through until I hit that knot on the back here, okay? And there's a little loop and that's fine right there, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna leave a little space. I'm gonna get head down this portion of the fabric here and I'm gonna go down through the fabric. So I'm gonna leave a little space and go down through both pieces of fabric. Okay, make sure that the string goes the whole way through. Okay, so here's one stitch. Now my string is on the orange side. Okay, so now I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna leave a little space and I'm gonna go up through the fabric. And I'm gonna continue that. At this time, teams, 5C, D, and E. Please report to the gymnasium, thank you. So I'm gonna continue that the whole way down, this whole side. When I get to the end here, I'm gonna go the whole way down here. When I get to the end, I'm gonna make a turn and go this way. And I'm gonna go the whole way back around and I'm gonna leave a space about this big away from where I started, okay? And at that point, we'll stop, we'll flip them inside out and we will stuff them, okay? So here I go. 